Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So in the last video of the matrix, we have seen how to create a matrix by using a for loop and then iterating it and storing the matrix data in the uh, 2D array and then various ways of printing it on the console. Today we are going to talk about how to add two matrix. And if you know the mathematically formula, the matrix can be added like that. If you see this diagram, I have two matrices over here. And then whenever you have to add two matrices, it's like three plus four element to element. So three plus four, eight plus zero, and then four plus one and six plus minus nine. So the final result will be seven, eight, five, minus three. If you see some other example here, you can see minus four plus six is equal to what? Plus two over here. And then three plus one is equal to four. One plus eight is equal to nine and nine minus two. It means nine plus minus two is equal to nine minus two, seven. So this will be the final answer for that. If you see one more example here, once again, one plus five, six, two plus six, eight, three plus nine, 12, and 11 plus four is equal to 15. So very simple. So what we have to do, we have to create two matrix matrices, first one and the second one, and then we will try to perform addition over here, and then we should get the result of like that. A very common interview question and very famous, especially for the freshers, or maybe if you're going for college placement or Maybe at the time of, uh, you know, experienced people also, people might ask you certain questions, so don't get confused over here. So I'll do one thing that uh, code, I'll just take it once again. So let me just copy this entire code and uh, I'll just paste it over here because no need to write the exactly same code once again. So I'll do one thing that first of all, um, I'll create uh, two matrices, right? So this is my first matrix. Let's see, this is my data one and uh, data two, or let's give a nice name over here. This is my matrix uh, one. And then let's see, this is matrix number two, like this. Both are having some rows and columns. And then I'm going to create the resultant of matrix, right? Because the result also will be a kind of matrix. So I'm going to maintain the third matrix. I'm going to give a name. Let's see the result matrix or maybe the sum matrix, which is having the some rows and columns as well, right? Now, what exactly I'm going to do that first, I'm going to fill the first matrix one over here. So just matrix uh, one, and then I'm fetching the data from the user that, okay, fine. You give me the uh, data for this particular user. And then this is my, please enter the matrix uh, one data. And then exactly for loop, I'm going to use it uh, for the matrix two data. So I'll be writing, just give me the data for matrix number two. And in matrix number two here, I'll be using matrix number two over here. Simple, so two matrices got created. And then I'm going to print the first and second matrix also on the console. So I'll be writing that, okay, fine, that we can again take this particular code that print the matrix. For printing the matrix, maybe I told you yesterday uh, in the last session that you can print by using the two for loop. You can use a for each loop also, or you can directly use uh, this one as well, that arrays dot two string. So I'll be using this one that looks good to me, very simple. Within one single for loop, you can use that. And uh, I'll be writing, let's see, this is for uh, printing the data. So let me just comment it out. And first I'm going to write system dot out at print Allen that uh, print a matrix one data. Okay. And uh, here I'll be writing, this is a matrix of uh, one over here. And, uh, and then we have to import arrays also. So simple import that perfect. So this is my, uh, first thing, and then I'm going to print the second matrix also on the console. So print matrix two data as well. And then here I'm using matrix number two. So till here, let's see, I'm just printing it. And then after that, I have to do what? I have to do a sum. So then I'll be printing a message over here that system dot out at print Ellen, the sum of two matrices is what? So let's see how to do that. So for some, again, I have to write a two for loop. So I'll be writing a for loop integer. I is equal to a zero <clears throat> and I less than what? I less than we have to, first of all, guys, we have to calculate the row that we have already captured over here. The first rows over here like this. So I'll be doing one thing that, okay, I less than rows and then I plus plus. And then again, I'm going to write one integer J is equal to zero and then do what? J less than number of columns that we have already captured initially. So this columns that we are going to capture from the user that how many rows and how many columns with the help of a scanner class, I'm going to use it. So I'm going to write 
total number of columns and then j plus plus after that what i have to do see this carefully after that we have to add two matrix and then the result should be stored in this particular sum matrix so i'll do one thing in this particular sum matrix i'll be writing with i over here and uh, this j over here is equal to what the matrix one data so i'll be writing matrix a one square bracket plus and let's see uh, this is my matrix two square bracket over here like that and here we what we have to pass here we just need to pass i and we need to pass j and the same thing over here for matrix number two i'm going to pass i and then here i'm going to pass j over here okay so matrix one ij plus matrix two ij and uh, once this is uh, done and then i'm going to print this particular sum so i'm going to print only system dot out of print ln remove ln from here in the same line that i want to print this particular sum of i it means print the first row with along with its rows and columns and once the first for loop is done you generate a new line so that it will be printed in a new line the next row will be printed in the new line and then for each and every uh, matrix data you put a space after that okay so let's see this is working or not right i know this is quite lengthy you can create some generic method to uh, print it and create a data you don't need to write the same code again and again but this is just for rough work that we are doing it and later on you can convert that into a utility or something like that so i'm going to run it and let's see it is really working or not so run as java application and i'll go to the console enter number of rows okay so let's take this example that we take uh, two rows and two columns for same thing for two rows and two columns over here as well for the second matrix so i'll be writing two rows and two number of columns and let's see data also one two three four five six nine eleven so i'll write one two three and four the data is done for the first matrix now i'm going to enter the data for second matrix i'm writing five six nine eleven so i'll be writing five six nine eleven so first it will print the data see okay one two three four print the matrix data for five six nine eleven and the sum of this the resultant of this will be like this 6 8 12 15 here you can see 6 8 12 15 which is absolutely working fine here nice so likewise you can simple do that okay so this is the addition of uh, thing let's take some more example let's try some negative values so again i'll go back to this and let's try maybe something like this minus 4 3 1 9 so first of all that i need uh okay i'll take randomly okay some more let's see three rows and three columns i want and then i'm passing some negative data minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six minus seven minus eight minus nine so that is the first data okay first matrix data and then i'm going to write second matrix data let's say i'm writing minus nine then i'm writing minus eight then minus seven then minus six then minus five then minus four then minus three then minus two and then minus one nice so this is my first matrix this is my second matrix so obviously minus one plus minus nine is equal to minus ten minus two plus minus eight is equal to minus ten over here so resultant will be what everything will be minus ten over here so this is also absolutely working fine over here the only thing is that if you are getting con i mean don't be confused guys this is a kind of matrix only but here we are not getting a square bracket so if you want a square bracket you have to print it in this format that also you can do that okay i am using a typical two for loop that's why it is uh, coming like that if you want you can print in this format actually with the arrays dot two string you can use it over here like that so that's okay that's you can do it later so this is the sum of the two matrices that we have used same thing if you really want to do the subtraction so for subtraction what will you do you just need to write minus over here so let's see i'll be writing another thing okay two matrices so here in this min uh, plus i'll be writing only minus over here and the rest of the things will remain same so let's see it is working or not so i'm again going to run it and uh, let's see for subtraction is working or not so i want two rows and two columns or let's say three columns and or let's see terminate it again i want only two rows two columns who will fill the uh, data guys okay two and two okay and then i'm writing one two three and four okay and for the second matrix i'm writing three four five and six so two rows and two columns perfect sum is like that one plus three two plus four 
3 plus 5 and 4 plus 6. Absolutely fine. And the subtraction is 1 minus 3, 2 minus 4, 3 minus 5, 4 minus 6, minus 2 minus 2 minus 2, which is absolutely working fine. So subtraction is also perfectly working fine over here. Perfect. So like this, you can simply uh, do that. Now, if you really want the subtraction, uh, multiplication, multiplication, I'll tell you in the next video. Multiplication, I have to explain you first that how exactly the multiplication will done, but plus and minus will very straightforward over here. I'll do one thing. I'll just uh, give this particular code to my repository in a GitHub. You just take it and practice and it's very, very simple, guys. You just need to understand that how will you create a matrix? How will you uh, print it? And then how will you do the subtraction over here after that? Okay. That's all for this particular video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you have more options to iterate and create the matrices. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.